All right, so here we have a system of equations. Uh, just, well, probably, you probably see from the title, this one is not going to have a solution. Uh, I have another one that will that you can watch that will have a solution. Uh, I'm just doing them in separate videos because they take a little while to work. And then I'll have another one that has infinitely many solutions. All right, so let's get started. So the first thing that we want to do is we want to rewrite this system as an augmented matrix. All right, so if we write it as a matrix, we've got 1, 2, 4, 0, 1, 1, 1, 3, 5. Now these numbers, that's the coefficients of the variables. See the 1, the 2, the 4 the 1, 2, 4. Well here there's no x term so that would be the same as 0 times x plus y. Okay so the 0 and then a 1, a 1, there's the 1 and the 1, and then a 1 in front of x, 3 in front of the y, and 5 in front of the z. Alright and then we have the equal signs here so there we draw a line and then you've got your 6, 1, and 10. 6, 1, and 10. And there's our augmented matrix. So what we can do is we can we can uh, interchange any two rows. We can swap the rows. We can multiply each element of a, of a row by non-zero constant and we can replace a row by the sum of itself and a constant multiple of another row of the matrix. Alright, so this is what we're trying to do. If you look at this, don't even pay attention to this right now, just look at this part here. You see this main diagonal here? Okay, what I want to do is get these three numbers to go to zero. Okay, so I just got to use row operations to do it. Well, I've already got a zero here, okay, so I need to get a zero here and I need to get a zero here. So what we can do is we can If, if I multiply this row here by negative 1, okay, that gives me negative 1 times 1 is negative 1, and negative 1 plus 1 is 0. You see that? So what I would do is I would do negative, well, let's, re let's write it like this. I would do negative 1 times row 1 plus row 3, okay, so multiply negative 1 to this row and then add to add this row to it. And I'm going to replace my result in row 3, so I'm going to replace row 3, okay. Alright, so let's see what we've got. Alright, so the only row that it, that's going to change is the row that you're replacing. So I'm replacing row 3, so I'm going to write my other two rows down. Okay. Alright, so look at this. I'm going to multiply negative 1 to this row. So negative 1 times 1 is negative 1. And then here's this one. And when I add them, I get zero. All right. Then I'm going to multiply negative one. See, I've got to multiply it by each element in this row. So negative one times two is negative two. And then I have this three here. So negative two plus three. See, negative row negative one times row one plus row three. So negative one times two is negative two plus three. See. I'm adding those. And that gives me 1. And then 
I have negative 1 times 4 is negative 4 plus 5. Okay, And that gives me 1. And then I have negative 1 times 6 is negative 6. And then plus the 10. Well, negative 6 plus 10 is 4. Okay. All right. <clears throat> now I want to get this one to go to 0. So to get this to go to 0, well, that's going to be the same thing. Oh. Alright, so we'll have the same thing. So, well, I've got 1 and 1. I'm going to add the two rows. Well, this needs to be a negative 1. So negative 1 plus 1 would give me 0. So I'm going to need to multiply negative 1 times row 2 and add row 3. And then I will replace row 3. Because, see, I've got the 0 here and here. I just need 1 here. Alright. So, we're going to get, well, I'm replacing row 3, so I'm going to write the other two rows down. Alright, so let's, let's do this without writing it down like we did last time. Alright, so negative 1 times 0 is 0, and 0 plus 0 is 0. Negative 1 times 1 is negative 1. Negative 1 plus 1 is 0. And then negative 1 times 1 is negative 1. Negative 1 plus 1 is 0. And then negative 1 times 1 is negative 1. Negative 1 plus 4 is 3. Alright. So, you can see what happened here. This right here, if we rewrite this back as an equation. Well, notice notice this first column here. That's the coefficient of the x terms. This is the coefficient of the y terms. And this is the coefficient of the z terms. So you can see that this row states that 0 times x plus 0 times y plus 0 times z equals 3. Well, the left-hand side here is just 0 equals 3. Our variables went out. Well, is this a true statement? No. 0 does not equal 3, so that means we have no solution. All right. So I hope the video helped. Uh, check out the other ones. Uh, I have a lot more videos up. Uh, give me a like, share, and subscribe, and thanks for watching.